So, I ask you, what improvements and or innovations you would like to see for the F1 2021 game? And you gave me a lot of answers. Here is the first part of what has to be an F1 2021 game. The first comment is by Depp Power, and he says, I don't think many people would do this, but if we would have an option to do the in-lab after the race, it would be kind of cool. And I think that's a very nice idea for the F1 2021 game because you can do that in many other games, like in Assetto Corsa Competizione, Assetto Corsa or iRacing. And it's really cool to do an in-lap after the race, so you calm down a bit after a tenth race. So that would be like in real life, they can do an in-lap, pick up a bit of rubber or something, and then you can drive, if you're on the podium, you can drive to the right board. This could also be a very nice option for league racing, because Maybe the podium guys could drive to the main straight again to make a cool picture with the cars or something. So yeah, I would really like to see this in the F1 2021 game. The second comment is by Huang Huang and he wants virtual reality support. And for myself, I can say if this would be available for the F1 game, I would instantly buy an virtual reality system so I think that would be awesome in this game so then you can finally drive in the cockpit cam and don't have to worry about the halo or that you can't see the things right so you can just move your head and can see the mirrors or you can look right next to the halo and it isn't such a visual obstacle so that would be very nice to have virtual reality support for this game. It will be a nice other experience to drive this game with virtual reality. The next comment is by Ice Cream Studios and he wants pre-season testing for the F1 2021 game. And I saw that comment very often by many of you and I think this is for my team or just career mode and this would be very cool so for my team you can test something new parts that you developed over the winter break so you can test your parts that you develop you can also gain like extra R&D points for doing this or more data and you have more options for the start and yeah I think that would be very cool and is a must-have because it's also in F1 really important. The next feature that you wanna see in the new F1 game is red flags. I saw that very often in the comments and this one is from Nightmare Demons and we had really many red flags in the 2020 season in real life so that could be also in the official of one game after a heavy crash with maybe two or three retirements or too heavy rain the red flag comes out and then you have to drive to the pits manually and until everybody is there after that you can change tires or repair your damage that you maybe have and then after two or three minutes there's a counter um, on the display and you can see when the race will be restarted then everybody does an information lab and then you do another standing race start that would be very awesome when this feature is in the new f1 2021 game the next comment is by gaybox and he says manual pit lane red flags realistic damage outlap from pits at the start of the race laser scan circuits and better tile model so we already had some of his ideas, but manual pit lane is a feature that definitely has to be in the F1 game. Um, for my side you can activate it and deactivate it, So, but it would be very cool if you drive full in the pit lane, so you also have to stop by yourself, that would be very cool, so you can gain maybe a bit of time if you stop in the right place or lose a bit of time if you break too early or too late so that would be very cool and um, then 
the game needs also a new damage model. You can get front wing damage and you can lose your tires or get a puncture. That's it. And many other games have a better damage model. So I think for the F1 game you should also can get um, rear wing damage like Vettel and Leclerc in Austria if something of this happens. Then you have to get damage at your barge board or the floor. Um, this could be also activatable and deactivatable but I think this feature has to be in the game because this damage model is just shit. <laughs> so outlap from pits at the start of the race, yeah, maybe for career mode or my team this could be a thing. And laser scanned circuits. I mean, if you know my channel, I think um, the most videos are about that and that's a thing that definitely has to be in this game. I mean, a company like Codemasters with so much money and employees and they don't have laser scan circuits. That's just shit for a official F1 game. I mean, look at the videos there. Are sometimes very big differences between real life and the game. A better tire model could be yeah i think it's quite okay in this game the only problem i have with is for the safety car restarts because it's so difficult to get temperature in your rear tires and i have so many problems for restarts because I, my rear tires are so cold and i often just lose traction and yeah it's really difficult to get heat into the rear tires at safety car restarts and the last comment for today is by Argenkill Gaming, and he says expanded track list that covers Nürburgring, Istanbul Park, Imola, Portimao, Bahrain, Auto Track, Mujalo, and other tracks from F1 history. Yeah, that would be so cool if we would have these tracks. I think Imola and Portimao should be definitely in this game because they are in the official calendar and it's the official game so it, it's it's a must have that these tracks are in the new game so even that Codemaster said they need more than one year to do one track I think they have a bit of data about Imola and Podimaru and if not just buy the data I mean Assetto Corsa has a really nice track about Imola just get the data from them convert them into your game so that's it. And he also says a free 2F2 to F1 career. That would be cool. I mean, we already have F2 in this game. Yeah. And also that you have the official F1 reserve drivers like Stoffel, Nesani, and Kubica for the Mighty mode would be also very cool. Yeah, that's it for today. Tell me what do you think about these features and if you want them in the new F1 2021 game. And if your feature wasn't here in this video, stay tuned for the next one or write it down in the comments for this video and see you next time.